Apple's iPhone 14 Pro is set to be the phone that, phone that could shake up the iPhone range by potentially bringing in a notably different design from the iPhone 13 Pro. So far, the rumors have hinted at everything from the death of the notch to the return of Touch ID. This is probably well overdue as good as the iPhone 13 Pro is, it's arguably not a definitive upgrade over its predecessor and overall the iPhone hasn't taken a huge leap forward since the iPhone 11 Pro. Going by all the rumors so far, we reckon September 13 will be the launch date for the Apple iPhone 14 range. After that, we can expect pre-orders of the iPhone 14 range to go leave the Friday after the Apple event September 16, with the phones being released a week later, likely on Friday September 23. This would be 10 days after the rumored Apple event. Somewhat reliable leaker leaks Apple Pro has claimed three of the four iPhone 14 models are tipped for a price hike but it's definitely just a rumor however it's a rumor a lot of people are buying into as a subsequent report also claim and as iphone 14 pro price hike is in the works based on these rumors the iphone 14 pro would start at uh, 1099 bucks which is a hundred buck hike over the triple nine dollar iphone 13 pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max may see a similarly $100 increase hitting at double one double nine dollar. This relatively significant leap in a launch price would certainly sting the wallet of anyone hoping to score a high-end next-gen iPhone 14. Furthermore, when a new iPhone arrives, it often means the end of the line for older iPhones with the iPhone 13 mini looking to be the likely phone to get cut from Apple's smartphone lineup. As such, we have dug into which iPhones could be discontinued when the iPhone 14 launches. Don't expect a big change in the number of cameras the iPhone 14 Pro will bring as the Pro phones are tipped to stick with the standard combo of a main ultra-wide and telephoto array. Given how Apple phones regularly feature in our best camera phones lineup, that's no bad thing. But one leak has the iPhone 14 Pro tipped to get a 48 megapixel main camera which could finally make a change from the 12 megapixel cameras Apple has used for years. While Cupertino's computational photography is some of the best around, having more megapixels to play with would likely give the iPhone 14 Pro more scope when it comes to processing light and details. We could be at a time where megapixels matter once more to Apple. But a regular Apple tipster has the standard iPhone 14 models tipped to stick with 12 megapixel cameras, with only the Pro models expected to get a 48 megapixel main camera. No changes have been touted for the ultra wide camera, but we'd surprised if some effort wasn't made to improve the field of view and help remove some age distortion. And there's a scope for the telephoto camera to get a zoom boost as an Apple patent points toward the company working on a periscope style zoom camera. If such a feature was going to debut in an iPhone, it could be for the iPhone 14 Pro. But to muddy the waters, Apple Oracle Ming Chi Kuo claims the periscope camera won't appear until the iPhone 15 in 2023. The lack of a telephoto upgrade for this year could make the iPhone 14 Pro a real lit down. Analysis Ming Chi Kuo claims all models of the iPhone 14 will get an upgraded front facing camera. It looks like this will involve a new wider aperture, a more complex six part lens and the addition of autofocus for the first time. 
Together, this should allow the iPhone's selfie, selfie snapper to take brighter photos that are easier to shoot thanks to the autofocus and that will be less prone to distortion. For more, see our iPhone 14 cameras roundup for all the biggest remote upgrades.